I'm going to talk about zero balancing. And there are about three other words I really want to relate to this. That is key in zero balancing is structure, energy, and bone. We'll be talking about those. Um, I first encountered zero balancing in 1982. I got a session and uh, it was intriguing. I didn't know quite what to make of it at the time. Then I got another session and I was like, wow, this is fantastic work. Uh, what I, there's a couple things I discovered right away. Uh, one of them was that it was incredibly energizing. I, the second session I got, I was really exhausted. I was at a convention and we'd probably been staying up late and so on. And I got a session and I went from being exhausted to being totally energized in 20 minutes. And I was like, what was that? Well, that was some zero balancing. Now. Okay, that's interesting. At that convention was the founder of Zero Balancing, Dr. Fritz Smith, who is an MD, an osteopath, also became one of the first MD acupuncturists in the US, and also one of the earliest of the rolfers in the US. So pretty incredible guy and a lovely person, just had his 80th birthday and is still teaching full time. Uh, so I started studying with Dr. Smith in 86, when I heard him do his talk, it was in Washington, D.C. at an American Massage Therapy Association a conference, uh, he said a couple things right away that really made sense with me. I had at that time studied Swedish, I'd studied shiatsu, I'd studied uh, a variant of rolfing called structural body work and cranial sacral therapy. So I kind of covered the gamut of a lot of what was available. And yet I was feeling that there was something I wasn't getting my hands on at all. I was like, how could that be? I've studied all this stuff. And he started talking and he said, well, there is layers of the anatomy and there's layers in the, of the energy in the body. He said, in general, you can clearly see there is the skin and the superficial fascia under the skin. And Swedish massage addresses that very nicely, superficial forms of massage. Then there are the deeper layers, the deeper muscles and the myofascia, as well as the visceral organs. And shiatsu, acupuncture, deep massage, such as rolfing, etc., addresses that middle layer very nicely. He says, however, there's also the layer of the bone. And each layer of the anatomy conveys energy like a 110 line or a 210 li 220 line conveys energy in your, through the currents in your house. The 220 line conveys more currents and it's thicker. And the bone is the densest tissue in the body. So his assumption is the thicker the tissue, the denser the energy currents. And uh, so zero balancing is designed to work with the skeletal system directly. Um, working with its structure, obviously the skeletal system is, you know, there's, there's nothing more obviously structural than the skeletal system. You can feel those bones. At the same time, looking at the idea that the deepest part of us conveys the deepest energy or holds the deepest energy in the sense in which we might say, oh, I just know that in my bones, or I just feel that in my bones, or that, that was bone chilling, you know. S we tend to use language that says for bone is reserved a subjective sense of ultimacy. So I was quite fascinated with that, to get my hands on the bone, as well as the idea that bones conveyed energy. Um, and linked up with that is kind of a psychological assumption, which is that the more challenging uh, events in our lives get lodged deeper in our psyche and deeper in the body. So much so that eventually they can start compromising the skeletal system, giving rise to problems like Mark earlier talked about with regard to the knee, because the knee isn't only a physical structure, it's also an energetic structure that reflects the person's stability in life, as well as their stability with respect to the ground. Uh, so, the additional thing is I imply with bone and uh, bone energy is the idea that in zero balancing we combine structural and energetic work. Up until that point in my experience I had only found orthopedic forms of massage therapy which dealt very nicely with structure and talked about it coherently and then I encountered a lot of people who talked about energy some of whom seemed really intriguing, some of whom seemed kind of nuts. And uh, 
And so I was intrigued by this, but I never quite knew where I stood with respect to the energetic realm. And this was something I felt like I had a pretty good handle on. In zero balancing, you're explicitly exposed to a method to engage the structure and the energy simultaneously. And it's probably the only therapy, aside from the deep massage we teach, that actually aims very explicitly at contacting structure and energy simultaneously and consciously in the body, and does so at the level of bone. 